guys, welcome back to Ferris Tutorials. In this episode, we're looking at food nutrition and health, content four, which has to do with food science and technology. And in today's session, we're exploring the effects of heat on the composition and structure of fats and oils. Stay tuned. and technology content 11 and we're looking at the effects of heat on the composition and structure of fats and oils now let's take a look at our focus points now in this session we'll be looking at the difference between fats and oils we'll be also looking at the definitions of some key terminologies and the effects of heat on fats and oils now let's kick things off with looking at the differences between fats and oils. Now, the difference between fats and oils is in their melting point. Fats tend to be solid at room temperature, for example, lard, butter, and shortening, while oils tend to be liquid at room temperature. Examples of these are vegetable oil olive oil corn oil etc right you could also name a few more right now let us now move on to look at the key terminologies that we're we'll be focusing on in this lesson so the first one here we have is smoke point and the other is flash point now what is smoke point can you tell how many times have you heated oil in a skillet to the point where you see blue fumes arising from the oil? How many times, or I hope not, you've heated oil until it, it reaches a temperature that it, it becomes so hot that it ignites? Any, anyone? All right, let us look at what these definitions are, right? So the first one, smoke point, refers to the temperature at which an oil starts to burn and smoke, right? So those little blue fumes that you see coming to the surface, coming from the surface of the oil when it's heated to a high temperature, that is smoke point, right? Now the flash point is the point at which little flames starts dancing on the surface of the oil so when we speak of the effects of heat on fats and oils especially oil you know that the smoke point can arrive when the when the oil is heated at to a particular temperature and also the flash point as well smoke point is when you see the blue fume starts coming from the oil and the flash point is actually when the oil ignites all right now let us look at some further details of some of the things that happens to fats and oils when they are heated so both the chemical and physical characteristics of fats are changed when fat is heated when heated repeatedly changes in physical appearance of the oil will occur such as increase in viscosity and darkening in color. Now, high heat causes hydrolysis of triglycerides. So we're speaking about the chemical characteristics where the oil starts to break down. Now, when heat is added to fat, it melts and become liquid. And as we said before, earlier, prolonged heating of fats can also cause a darkening color of the fat as well excessive heating can cause fat the oil to smoke and also to ignite when we spoke speak of the smoke point and also the flash point good all right now let us look at these quick questions number one the temperature which the fat reach when it bursts into flames is referred to as a flash point 
B, frying point, C, small point, or D, boiling point? What's the answer? If it ignites and bursts into flame, if your answer is flash point, you are correct. Next question. The temperature which the fat reach when blue flames rises is called A, flash point, B, frying point, C, smoke point, or D, boiling point. Awesome. If your answer is C, which is smoke point, you are correct. correct. Next question. Which of the following is the most suitable product for frying donuts? And in this question, we must think of the oil or the fat that is better able to manage the heat, right? Or go to high temperatures. So let us look at the responses or the options. A, butter. B, corn oil. C, margarine. Or D, ground nut oil. Now if your response is corn oil, you are correct. You're awesome. You've made it to the end of the session. Please remember to like, subscribe, and also share with persons who you know would find this information useful. Thank you for making it Ferris Tutorials.